good morning and welcome back i know what are we doing so we got a junk removal job today because i feel like the area that i'm going to be working is pretty well uh worked over i saw phil at the yard yesterday and he had already worked the area that i was going to work he did that yesterday so i uh had the opportunity to get a junk removal job so that's what i'm doing I'm trying to get so i can get this door all the way open but this is what we're moving it's mostly concrete but it's work so we're going to get this moved and uh i wish i could uh time lapse this but it's kind of a really small area and i got to go to the front so i'm going to show you what we're dealing with and i'll show you what the trailer and this looks like after we're done and what we get paid stick along Alrighty, guys update i wasn't able to uh film the end of the junk removal the um, homeowner came back and i got talking to her and then um we went over the job and all that kind of stuff and long story short is i wasn't able to film the finished product basically that space we cleared out of all that uh concrete and block swept up and got out of there we were there for about 45 minutes and that job paid 250. Um, i was able to um, find a place thanks to uh, my junk removal guy who hooked me up with this job where I can take the concrete and instead of taking it to the landfill, actually have it get recycled. So I am here and, I, and on top of that, I'm able to drop it off for free as long as it's clean. It doesn't have dirt uh, or household materials or garbage or things like that in there. So I am here um, getting ready to unload all the concrete. Um, and in the meantime, I also picked up uh, some extrusion that I originally wasn't going to pick up um because uh, i it was too far away and it wasn't enough material but since i was halfway there i decided to go pick it up so that's uh what we've got in the back right now so uh, i'm gonna get unloaded and then we'll catch you guys in the yard well good afternoon and welcome back to the channel <laughs> so i got all that concrete out of the back of my my uh, trailer here. I wasn't able to film it because it did start to rain. Um, so I headed to Jeff. Jeff said that these bolts are stainless steel. So he said that typically I should take them out, but he's gonna let it slide. So I actually don't have to do any cleaning up. But I figured I'd run a couple of neighborhoods here on the, that I sometimes find some tidbits in. And what do you know? Ain't nobody ran through here. Anymore. So we'll have, we'll actually do some scrapping today after all. There was a chair I saw um, when I was out and about. I was so tempted to uh, pick it up, but I had all that concrete in here. Oh, no steel, that's no fun. Um, but, uh, we left it. And this is an old stove. What the heck is going on here? Look at this. The door, you can't even pull the door, it just pulls right off. Hot point. I'm gonna try to slide this in here between the two straps. <laughs> It's got a gas line and it's got an electric line. So I guess this is for the top and this is for the stove, maybe. Is that how that works? And that's probably aluminum from somebody else that I've seen before. I don't normally take much apart when it comes to stoves, but today we might have to do that. So I apologize for not having a normal scrap day, but hey, sometimes you just have to pick your battles. And I figured I would do better with the junk removal and 
at 250. I don't think I've had a scrap day like that in a long time. Come on, baby. Good, how are you? Come on. Hey, at least we know. I'm not gonna fall out now. Woo wee! All right, let's mosey on. Look at this. We're gonna get more non-ferrous, I think. This is a this is a weapon. It's not non-ferrous. It's a, oh, my kids would love that. They can beat each other with it. Might be metal. <laughs> Look at these. Oh. oh, those are these are battle swords for sure. Oh, look at this. This is like a knife. What kind of battle are you having with these, man? I know. Don't take those to your kids and have to hurt each other. <laughs> this is probably sellable. Please. Oh, that's a. What's that one thing called? Honey, there's a guy out there with lightsabers. Call the police. This van's trying to hide my scrap. I saw something, though. Hopefully, that's not the only thing. Oh, I think it was the only thing. Dang it! The Casio piano, though. Can be wires. Come on. Nope, no wires. Oh, I just got a drum machine and everything. I know. Whoa! I almost walked right into that dummy. <laughs> Wake up! Looky, looky, Americanos. Is that a coffee maker? I think it is. <clears throat> Pet safe. What? Let's just keep their food safe. <clears throat> what? So you put the food in there and it just portions out the right amount or something, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. That looks fun. <laughs> Pet safe. Self feeder, maybe? And a shredder. Look at this guy. That's legit. It's probably jammed. I don't want those even though. I know. Probably have resale value, but I'm not taking them. Did someone get a new coffee maker or did they throw out an old one? Oh, it's in here. And they must have got a new one and threw out the old one. Ooh, there's the cord in there. Oh, I think I had a recall because they cut the cord. They cut the cord. Here's an art. Man, it looks in nice shape too, or it wasn't until they cut the cord. Let's go. Look at this. Not a coffee maker. This is Mr. Coffee. up nah let's be lazy let's drive up it's all the way up there ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll slide on over here like this how's that sound we don't even have to walk oh what is that a baby thing a couple of baby things Ooh, a tree sweet we didn't go treeless a single day this week yet Metal, uh, not metal, not enough metal, not metal, and metal. What is that? What is that one here? What is this? 
What is this? Oh, that's the bottom to that. This has enough metal. Alright, let's go. I didn't think it was going to be anything. I would have just walked up here. This is a, a shepherd's hook. Maybe two. Two shepherd hook. What's the plural of shepherd hooks? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh, someone done made a mess over here. We're just gonna turn this into Jeff like this. For dirty aluminum, what do you say? So dirty aluminum will extrusion. Why the camera cut out? I keep getting that SD air. So you know what I did? Just like yesterday, I gave her a fresh lick. So hopefully that works. <laughs> All right, guys, I apologize in advance if this thing cuts off because that first lick didn't work, but hopefully the second lick did. <laughs> uh, let's do some NFJ. I'm gonna do him before I kick out those couple of things. Um, shred, I'm not gonna film Shred because we just had the stove and the tree and it's just not too exciting. So we're just gonna stick with uh, non-Ferris and then we'll wrap this baby up. It'll be nice and short. Make the people that like short videos happy. And the people that like the long videos angry. <laughs> Sorry. I can only make so many people happy on one time, right? That's the main main yard guy right there. Getting people to work. Causing problem? You causing problems again? He's out running the street. <laughs> what do you mean running the street? You dumping the pile? He's dumping <laughs> You're on fire over there. Your ice cream machine's on fire. I got three fires over there. <laughs> Until they get about this high, I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's a Taylor machine. Oh, now it's crap. Yeah. I'm gonna chop this up to fit you in when Sheffy gets back. So if there's a slice, that's why. He's out dumping my crap. What's that? He's out dumping my garbage. Oh yeah. I've only been to that like three times. There he is. There he is. What's up, Jeffy? It's clean extruded. That's what it is. It's uh, they're brackets for solar. Nice short ones. <clears throat> Say what? No, no. My first time here today. Is there any other way, Jeffy? Oh my gosh, what are we stuck on now?
this was a this was a pickup that I almost didn't do because it was all the way up in the Longwood. What? It was all the way up in Longwood. Oh, yeah. Go slide right out. I know they slide right out. I told you that. I just needed to know whether I needed to clean them up or not. Oh, come on. Such a pain. Got it? And this one I stuck under the trailer to try to bend it because <laughs> I didn't have anything to cut it with. <laughs> Hang on, I got some, some widow pieces in here. Some regular size pieces. Got it? That's it. Is that Thor's hammer? Yeah. See all these things, man? Look at these. Oh, I just Thor's hammer. Uh, next time I, I, I hit on the side of the trailer. Look at all these, man. We have a fight, Jeff. You want some? Here. One for you. One for me. We can make some content. Here. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> You want that? Well, the <laughs> <laughs> it took some time. I know, they're pretty sharp, aren't they? <laughs> I figure my kids could beat each other with those things, you know? Uh. <laughs> I figure my kids could beat each other with those. Have some fun. <sighs> yeah? Really? Yeah. Wow. I got some light. Ready? Uh, That's it. No, different one. I just picked it up today. The one I got yesterday is this is I don't think it's gonna be this actually might be the same stuff, but I ain't messing with I, I've already got one I gotta catch up with on. Yeah, rest is a shred. Nice. We might, we might make a hundred still here today. Huh? With a stove, we might still make a hundred bucks here. That's crazy. The, the wheelbarrow I used for my junk, I did a junk removal today. Okay. I, I was moving concrete. Did you get paid to do it? Yeah, 250. Oh, this is a good day then. Yeah. And on top of that, it was all concrete. Um, Jacob said if I take it, there's a place up in Oviedo yeah, on yeah. Evans. I think so. As long as it's clean concrete, they'll take it for free. Well, yeah. yeah. There's a rock crusher there. Yeah. They, they grind it up and the, only, the, only, the only thing that sucks is I had to hand load it, hand unload it. And your trailer looks pretty clean. Yeah, I swept it out. Ah, oh, oh, one more piece. Dang it. The only clean piece. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Wowzer, what a day. I'm sorry I didn't have... Uh, the camera on as much as you probably hope that I had it on, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes, guys. So I've been up since five o'clock this morning. Had to take my mom to the airport since they have to be there so early. Dropped her off, came home, took the kids to school, 
went over, did the junk removal job, which was, I don't know if you can really call it a junk removal job. It was just moving a whole bunch of concrete and cinder block and uh, was cleaning up that one room. It didn't seem like that much, but man, there was a lot of uh, weight and there was a lot of concrete there. It just, uh, there were much smaller pieces underneath those top big ones. I thought they were gonna be mostly the big blocks. Still didn't take too long. It took less than an hour. Um, but uh, we loaded that up and since we were halfway to the one pickup, we ran up there and said, hey, we'll pick up uh, that extruded. It actually ended up weighing more than I thought it was gonna weigh. I was guessing it was gonna be about 100 pounds is what I guesstimated based on pictures. Uh, and I actually texted uh, Junkman5000 about it because he does solar to get an idea of what he thought. Um, and that's where you, you come out where you're like, hey, am I gonna make a special trip up there for that? You gotta guess what it, what it, what it weighs, what it's gonna pay, how long it takes to get up there, gas, tolls, whatever. And I didn't think a solo trip was worth it. But since I was already halfway there for the junk removal job, I said it was worth it. And it definitely was worth it. So uh, let's uh, talk about what we did. So we did the junk removal job. You know, it was basically uh, less than an hour on site, but then I had to, uh, I actually went up and picked up that extruded, and then I went to uh, the concrete recycling plant uh, locally here. As long as you have clean cement, it can't have like dirt and roots and other stuff in it, it has to actually be just concrete. You can drop there for free. Um, otherwise, it was going to go to the landfill. Would love to not have it go to the landfill because basically, what they do is they crush it up. They have a crusher there. They pulverize it and then turn it back into concrete again. So uh, it's good for them. It's good for me. Uh, it's good for everybody. So, so we did that. Junk removal was uh, 250 since we didn't have any dumping fees because we were able to drop that there. Um, bonus. So then we went home, I texted Jeff to find out whether I needed to take the stainless screws out to get clean for it, because I would have done that. Uh, but he's like, oh, you're, technically you're supposed to, but for this one, I'll let it slide. So um, I didn't, and so I decided that to have lunch today and then run about a couple of streets just to see if there's anything still out there. And there was, not much, but there was still stuff out there. Oh, and those swords, those I picked up those swords because it does look like fun, right? I had fun with it in the streets and I knew my kids would probably love, uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten in trouble for my wife. She would have been like, why are you giving stuff for the kids to beat on each other with? Someone's gonna get hurt. <laughs> so when we were at the yard, Jeff took one of them because he's a big kid at heart. And then when I was driving back to the pile, uh, one of the guys that works here, I talked to on a, on a regular basis. And so I was talking with him and then he drove past me in the forklift and then he came back up and he's like, hey, are those swords back there wood? I'm like, yeah, they're wood. I, I picked them up uh, for my kids. He's like, uh, can, I, can I have them? Can I have one? Because he's, he, he's, he only saw the one. I'm like, yeah, there's tons back there. Uh, I, I said, help yourself. Um, he's like, my, my kid would love this. So I'm like, take them. Yeah, I said, I was just going to take them home for my, my kids to goof around and someone's probably going to get hurt. He's like, yeah, that'd be fun. He's like, I look forward to fixing the drywall at my house. <laughs> so he took all those swords and smiling ear to ear. Yeah, he was happy with it. So I, like I said, I love to make people smile. That's why I give people stuff. That's why I, I look for stuff. It's just, to me, it's nice to do that when you're out and about. It doesn't cost me anything. I picked it up and I knew that I could get a smile out of it and I did. So uh, we dumped our shred. We didn't have much. So let's get into the receipt here of what we did. So we went to Jeffy first. Extrusion, 148 pounds. What? That's almost 50% more than I thought. 60 cents a pound, 88.80. That's our lucky number, 888. Um, so we uh, almost had met our goal. So what did we do? We went and gave it a little irony light. That was that... Uh, truck cover we found another one we like we found yesterday 20 pounds 20 cents a pound for four bucks and then we had that stove and just a couple of tidbits with a couple of coffee makers huck those in there actually look at that look at that we're at the same two what's going on with the sd card but it's making me mad turning off on me again so it looked like i decided to get a new sd card because it clicked off on me again and i'm not going to sit here and look sd card two can play this game now we're going to be on our phone since we can't figure out why the sd card keeps messing up so <laughs> <laughs> that's Lucas. That's gonna get the sword. So, so uh, two forty-five cents a pound for twelve bucks. 
for a total today of 10480. What? Plus a junk removal job. Plus I had the two batteries from yesterday that I dropped off at O'Reilly. So we crushed it today. Uh, I'd love to have a junk removal job like that every day, but I really missed being on the street. I don't know if you can tell or not, but when I was out there running about, I had extra fun for those couple of minutes that I, or a couple of stops I had because I enjoy running around seeing what I can find. So, um, tis what it is. It's going to be a short video. It's going to have all kind of stops in it because this darn SD card, I'm going to have to order one. I don't know if it'll be in tomorrow. So we might just have, uh, some issues again tomorrow. We'll see. I might have another one at the house. I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, if not, I'll have to order one and it'll be here by next week. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And know that, um, each day we're going to run about the streets and see what kind of goodies we can find. Even though today wasn't our traditional hunt, we still had fun. We still did well. So sometimes you just got to play the hand you're dealt. And remember, it's not your stuff. But that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.